All right, today I'm diving into how can I tell if my cortisol levels are actually improving? How do I know? How do I know if what I'm doing is actually getting me the right result and things are moving in a better direction for me? Hmm? Yes. So these are the things that we are going to just delve into today. And I love, love, love talking about this stuff because it is so helpful and important to really be in tune with your hormonal response as you try and work on it. So I am Dr. Beth Westy, um, women's health and hormone expert. I am the author of the books, The Female Fat Solution and Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon, where you can learn all about how to eat for your hormones and your cycle. Um, but when we talk about cortisol, cortisol has a really big reaction with all of your hormones, your energy levels, everything. So if you're thinking, gosh, I have been under so much stress recently, I really have been trying to improve this. I have been trying to um, be less stressed and take care of my body and everything, but how do I know if what I'm doing is actually helping? Well, besides getting a test done, <laughs> that's the way we know for sure, right? Get a test done. Get the, you know, get your levels tested, right? And if you're like, how do I do that? What do I do? Ah, here we go. I'm going to put a link here in the comments for you to get on the wait list for the next uh, Female Hormone Solution program. This is a group program and we dive into your hormone levels and talk about, <laughs> I'm super excited for this video, yay! Um, and talk about you know, what your system needs specifically. Um, there's some reports I went over today with some gals actually where it was amazing what what I saw some of their cortisol levels being. I was like, ooh, ooh, this is rough. No wonder you've been struggling. These levels are terrible. And she was like, she and the funny thing was is one of the gals, she just laughed. She just laughed. She's like, well, at least it's here. You know, at least this is, you know, saying showing exactly what I've been feeling and I'm not crazy. I was like, nope, you've got nothing in your tank. <laughs> you are completely depleted. So place to start from at least, right? So, um, but if you're trying all these things and besides getting tested, which again, go in the comments and, and get on the wait list, um, cause then you get your own Dutch test and your own hormone test. But if you've been doing things, applying things, I've been eating more protein, I've been trying to rest more, I've been doing deep breathing, I've been doing meditation, I've been doing all these things. How can I tell if this is helping my cortisol level? Well, one of the first things you're going to notice is an increase in your energy. Your energy should go up. If your cortisol levels and your stress response is improving, your energy should also improve. Um, this doesn't mean like, oh, you went from a 2 out of 10 energy throughout the whole day to a 10 out of 10. This might mean that it's improved by 20%. You might have more energy in the morning, but still have that slump in the afternoon. That's okay, right? That's okay. Um, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. So I do check the comments. So just let me know like, oh my gosh, yes, this is totally me. I really have a hard time with energy throughout the day and I for sure get that slump, right? Yes. And that is really a big indicator that there's an issue with your cortisol levels. So if you're improving your energy overall and things are moving in a good direction, again, even if it's not perfect all day, but still moving in a good direction, then your cortisol levels are improving. And the other one is going to be better sleep. Now, here's the uh, tricky thing with the better sleep. You have to have good sleep to have good cortisol levels, but you have to have good cortisol levels to get good sleep. Come on. I know. I know. I know. So here's the thing to think about with sleep is that if you are noticing you can get to sleep easier, you're not, your brain isn't spinning before you go to bed and you're like, gosh, oh my gosh, turn off brain. I want to sleep. Then that's improved sleep and your cortisols can be improving. If you notice you stay asleep throughout the night, normally you'd wake up three times and now you're only waking up once and you can get back to sleep a lot easier. That's an improvement as well. Again, does that mean that it's perfect? No, but moving in the right direction for that sleep. Your circadian rhythms are very closely tied to your cortisol patterns. Your cortisol patterns. And we check your cortisol patterns in the Dutch test. We check what your cortisol patterns are throughout the day, from when you wake up, in the morning, afternoon, and evening before you go to bed. So that gives us a really good indicator of how your system already would be responding at night with your circadian rhythms. So if you're having an issue with your cortisol, it's going to show up on your test and there's things that we can do to make sure we're targeting that and getting better sleep, but also your sleep improving 
is a good sign that things are moving in the right direction. Yay! And the last one, this is one of my favorite things that people say. Oh, this is one of my absolute favorite things. Um, when I've been working with somebody for, you know, a few weeks or something and we do a check-in call and she says this to me, this is like, oh, I love this. I love hearing this because I know for sure, for sure, things are moving in a better direction. And this is an improved stress response. And what does that mean? What does that mean, improved stress response? Didn't you just say that, that your, your stress is getting better, your cortisol is getting better, so of course you would have a better stress response. What? Well, it seems weird. Like this. <clears throat> Let me give you some examples. Um, a lot of the gals I work with are busy working moms, got lots of things on their day, on their schedule, lots of plates spinning in the air, and things inevitably happen, right? Life happens. And you have to have a reaction or response to that. And sometimes when your system is so overloaded, so overwhelmed, your stress levels are already here, it almost doesn't matter what that last straw is. It's like that last drop in the bucket that overflows it. All right, there's all these other drops in the bucket that you were able to contain. But if the bucket is right at the brim, you know, that, that little meniscus where it's like, oh, it's right there about to overflow and one more little drop and it overspills. It doesn't matter what that drop is, right? It's gonna overflow the bucket. So that little drop could be, you know, one of your kids spilling milk. It could be you drop your curling iron on your toe, right? It could be you knock something over. You get stuck behind the slowest person in the history of the world driving. <laughs> your husband forgets to pick something up at the store for you, right? Little things that overall aren't a big deal. Things that aren't going to matter the next day or even the next week. But when your system is already so overloaded with stress and just right on edge, that little thing, boom, you will have this stress reaction. You can feel it in your body and you're like, oh my gosh, I just can't handle this one more thing. This one more thing is just too much for me right now. I just can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. And you'll either snap, you'll have like a mental breakdown yourself. You'll feel your system and body react or you'll lash out, right? You'll be like, oh, I didn't mean to holler at my kid. Now I feel guilty about that because it was just milk. They didn't mean to spill it, but that stuff happens. And I didn't really want to fly off the handle about it, but I totally did. What's wrong with me? Stress. Stress is what's wrong with you. And it's that your system has been under so much stress for so long that it's, it's almost impossible to just, again, rein it in. But again, it's like that bucket that's already full. When your cortisol levels are improving, it's like you get to take some scoops out of the bucket. So it's not at the total brim. Now, when you have all these little drops that happen throughout the day, like they will inevitably, you can handle it better. You can handle it better. You realize, oh, so this is my favorite thing that gals say when they're like, you know what? This thing happened today and it was really similar to this thing that happened a few weeks ago and I was totally fine about it. Like, I am not snapping at my kids as much. I am much more pleasant to be around. I don't find myself flying off the handle. I'm not getting overwhelmed throughout the day. I'm in a better mood. I'm feeling better. Yeah, that's incredible. But this also just means that your cortisol levels are improving. So this is amazing. This is amazing. I love hearing this. And when your improved stress response means your cortisol levels are improving, you are only moving in the right direction, right? This doesn't mean that you're not going to have a stress response to things or that um, you know, being in traffic isn't going to stress you out at all. It just means that your body's reaction is going to be muted. You're not going to feel as exhausted. Like there are some gals who say driving in traffic or something on the way to work can get them so stressed that they will be exhausted and having to calm themselves down before they even go into the office because your system's already here, right? If we can bring it down that way, yeah, it's stressful to drive to work, but you can be like, oh, it's way easier to come down from that because I wasn't as revved up. That's a big deal. That's a really big deal in how your system is functioning. And when your system is already that overloaded with stress, the other negative reactions in your body are that much harsher. It's harder on your gut. It's harder on your, uh, meaning like your digestive system. It's harder on your nervous system, your brain. It's harder on your heart health. It's also harder to maintain lean muscle tissue and it shuts down your metabolism. Yeah, yeah, 
So that's kind of fun, right? So improving your cortisol levels means that you're going to be improving your overall health. Yay. All right. I would love to hear from you guys if you've had this experience where you're like, oh my gosh, yes, I was able to shift this and my stress response got better. And I noticed I was less crabby. I, you know, this happened and I handled it like a champ. You know, think those are my favorite things. Those are my favorite things to hear. So put it in the comments. I want to hear about it. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any other questions or need anything else. Um, but also as a reminder, I do have my tincture for uh, hormones. This is for adrenal balance. This is for your adrenals and your cortisol levels. Um, this is specially formulated for the female body. I created this formula um, to have the best response possible to stress and everything. And then I also have my tinctures uh, for estrogen and progesterone as well to help balance your estrogen and progesterone levels. Um, and then of course I did create a tincture for metabolism. Mm -hmm. Um, other resources I have for you besides my books are my podcast, The Female Health Solution, and then my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. So make sure you subscribe and stay updated on everything I have. Um, I definitely can tell my feelings of overwhelm are nowhere what they were. Oh, yay! That's amazing. I love that. Yes, feelings of overwhelm, right? Because sometimes you don't even know it's such an overwhelming sensation until later, right? Yes. Um, you know, I, mean, I used to totally shut down when I had to go into a grocery store and now I'm able to, without being exhausted afterwards. <gasps> I love that. The grocery store. Great example. Great, great, great example of being overwhelmed, being exhausted. Grocery stores can be really stressful, especially if you have to go with your kids. Yep. 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 Mm hmm. Absolutely. Yes. I love it. Okay. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Again, put your comments there down below. Remember to get on the wait list for the next Female Hormone Solution program. And I can't wait to see you there. All right, bye.